2008 Gretsch. It's got some weird marks on the neck. I can get rid of that though. And I don't know what it is, but it's weird. There's like white marks, like goo or something on there. But I'll get rid of it. Anyways, the finish looks great. There's Juan Pepe. Hi, Juan Pepe. Oh, yes, he's a good looking boy. And the finish is really nice. It's got a good flame. It's got a nice grain. And I cleaned it up just a little bit. I love the silver pick guard with the silver hardware. It's very nice. Moved the bridge around a little bit, and lowered the action. It's much nicer. Oh, and by the way, the Grover tuners are locking. So, which is even cooler. They did some weird nut stuff here. I'm not quite sure. Must have been to get around issues with the whammy. I don't know. But anyways. And then here's the back side with the growers and, of course, the serial number and the badge. 125-year badge. Very pretty. And we move down the next good and clean for dingless. I love that it's got like a knot right there. It's pretty cool. Some of my guitars have a knot in the neck. And then the back is in really good shape. And it actually is lighter right there. I don't know why, but it's like a knot or something that is lighter. It's cool. So it's a really nice flame on the back. Plays pretty well. It's going to need some loving, but it's in really great shape. I mean. It's been taken very well care of, and it's just pretty and nice, and I'm really happy with it.